Here are three things you need to know this morning. The Labor Department seeing another record week for jobless claims. Another 6.6 .6 million people filed for unemployment. That brings the total to more than 16 million people losing their jobs over the past three weeks. You can see the massive jump in claims from mid-March to now. Mecklenburg County is helping small businesses. Officials created an emergency stabilization loan fund. Businesses with less than 50 employees can apply for this. Those applications will will be available on Monday. Officials predict North Carolina is just five days away from its peak. The Carolina is seeing more than 6,000 cases right now with 869 in Mecklenburg County. Those thousands of cases across the Carolinas include nearly 150 deaths. And although officials predict we are nearing the projected peak, coroners are preparing for the worst. Wake up Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw explains. Good morning. Hospitals across North Carolina, including Atrium Health in Cabarrus County, is already putting out mobile morgues in preparation for the increased number of deaths related to COVID-19. And this morning, I'm learning coroners across the Carolinas are doing the same. A surge in coronavirus related deaths is expected to hit the nation by Sunday. In states like New York, coroners are creating makeshift morgues. In the Carolinas, recent data shows social distancing may be working and the projected death toll is not nearly as bad as larger cities. However, coroners continue to prepare for the worst. We get money to do mass fatality training and preparation. Sabrina Gast is the York County coroner and president of South Carolina's Coroner Association. If a peak in deaths should occur, she says the association has at least three refrigerated mobile morgues on standby. So they are uh, refrigerated trailers um, that are like if you think of an 18 wheeler trailer that has to be pulled with a, a semi truck. So we are going to put those regionally so that um, smaller counties can also have access to those trailers uh, when the time comes. Gaz says coroners, just like healthcare workers, are running into a shortage of personal protective equipment and are constantly finding ways to lower the risks of exposure to employees, which includes testing anyone who dies during this pandemic for COVID-19. We are holding patients under investigation until we get the test results back as an added layer of protection for our funeral director. Meanwhile, Sabrina Gass says in extreme cases, both North and South Carolina may be able to work together. Rob, back to you.